month and every other Sunday in this parish we usually have something we call Broadview in case you're just coming for the first time. It's a section where the pastor will not be coming to preach or any preacher will be coming to preach but we'll be asking some questions and everybody will learn from each other. So the more um, I want to thank the pastor this morning for giving me this opportunity to be here to anchor this service. Our topic for today is smile. Smile is our topic for today. And we asked him from the first question, what is smile? Smile. What is smile? Can anyone in the house help? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Well, like we said in the first service, smile is a facial expression that shows one is pleased or amused about a thing or amused with a person or a situation. Some a facial expression that shows one is pleased or amused about a thing or with a person or a matter. Any other contributor? Oh, that me. Let's smile, no? Yeah. At least we've been smiling to define it. Let's just try and define. Okay, let's know what it is. Smile is an expression of happiness shown outwardly. When you are happy about something, at times you smile. It may, it may not may be alone. Maybe you remember an incident. Uh, and that thing either gives you happiness or you enjoy that situation. Even in your bedroom, you can be smiling alone. So you don't have to be with somebody. You can, recall, you can recollect an event. That has happened, either a funny event or something that you no know, that gives happiness at a particular time in the past, then you express it physically by your show, by on your face that remember that event and it gives you joy, or it gives you happiness, or it amuses you. Thank you, sir. Any other person? Okay, I'll give my own definition. A smile is a facial expression formed primarily by flexing the muscles at the sides of the mouth. That's the definition of a smile. Is there any other person that wants to? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, to me, a smile is a pleasant facial expression. It might be to something good, it might be something not pleasant, but your facial expression will be showing that it's all good. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, another question is, why must we smile? Why must we smile? What are the advantages of smiling? Who appreciates life examples? Well, when we smile, it releases attention. That's an advantage of smiling. When you smile, your body, you know, you feel a relief in your body when you smile. So that's one good advantage of smiling. Any other? Praise God. Hallelujah. When we smile, we show more beauty, we show more dazzle, and when we smile, we show that God loves us. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Thank you, sir. Any other person? Okay, so some of the ones I have here, they said, is a, is a, is a conversation starter. Before you want to um, converse with anyone, start by smiling. Then smiling helps reduce stress. Okay, like our pastor wants to say something. Praise God. Hallelujah. Smiling. That I have I've seen it in many situations and I've also read about it. That it makes you look longer. So if you don't want to eat fast, <laughs> smile more. <laughs> And uh, go where possible in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I look younger. Ah. <laughs> Amen. 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 Any other contribution? Okay. 
no body. Okay, another one I have here, so it makes you look more trustworthy and approachable. You know, you look friendlier. Smiling makes you more productive. And then, smiling is actually free, so you should just smile. Um, let's just take three seconds to smile. Let's, let's practice it. So that we will not be doing, saying, 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 and not practicing what we are saying. Okay, so the next question is, why do some people find it difficult to smile? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And let me refer to the previous question. One of the things that smile does for us is it attracts favor, even from some very hard people. There's a way it melts tension and dissolve anything in the atmosphere when you smile. I remember years back when I was looking for a job and on this date I was called for an interview. And that day I just, um, I was working with the church. So I just had my bath and I wore a pair of trousers that the color was different from the top I was wearing. On the, on the normal day I wouldn't dress like that, but I was rushing to go deposit money in the bank. And then I got to church and I received that call that I should go to that office that same day. I told the person that I am not well dressed. I want to go back home and dress up properly for an interview and go. And she said, if you don't go now, the MD would have left for Abuja. So from the church, I went first to deposit the money and straight away to Ikui. The way I was dressed, that no makeup, nothing which is very unusual if I was going for an interview. And when I got there, the only thing I had on me was just a smile. Because I was feeling, you know, there are some times that you go to an important place that you just feel you are not, you didn't make up, you don't feel complete. And I went, I saw the NG, and I didn't know much about computer and all stuff like that. That was what they needed. But every question they asked, I will smile first and answer. I will smile first and answer. The man will just, just kept looking at me. At the end of the day, he just said, you know what? I like you. I like your face. I like you more than all the girls that have been coming and painting and painting and painting. I don't just like the way they just paint and come here. <laughs> so the only makeup I had that day and the paint and everything was just that smile. And I actually got the job that day. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So it's a chat people and it makes you look more attractive. Okay, so what, uh, why do some people find it difficult to smile? Why do some people find it difficult to smile? Hallelujah. Why do people find it difficult to smile? They think about what happened once. They don't think about the future. They don't think about that front. They are thinking about back what happened. Maybe something that happened at the back. That's why they don't want, they don't smile. They find it so difficult because they want, they are, they are always thinking about their world, their problem. Praise the Lord. But when you are smiling to bring what? To bring happiness. Because without what? Without smiling, you cannot laugh. It's smiling that brings what? That brings laughing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I will tell you that what? The smiling is very good. And people that don't smile because of what? They look at the situation and back. Don't forget about the situation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I think some people don't smile because they are not grateful to God. Yes. Because when you take life too seriously and you think you are the only one who has problem, you don't smile. You should know that everybody in this life has problem. One thing or the other. So but some people think that the whole problem of Nigeria is on their head. So they don't smile, but by the time you look at all the things that God has been to pass through, you have cause to smile. Because you have passed through some incidents that God has saved you. You have passed through incidents that are falling incidents in your life. So you must learn to smile. Express, don't carry your problems too much. Some people carry their problems too much on their heart that they cannot smile. No matter how falling the places, they can't smile because they carry too much of their problems on their heart. God bless us. Amen. Praise so, God. Okay, hallelujah. Some people don't also smile, not because they have problems, but they don't learn how to smile. You know, as on food that they frown their face, you think that they hate you. In fact, that's how their faces. You know. 
So we know that they have problem. They just they just keep this space and not to, you know, because I was once like that. You know, my father always wants to send me on air and to make me see my face, to say, don't worry. You sense my girl. But not that I, I was angry with him, but so I just had to learn how to smile. Praise God. Someone was telling me that it could be as a result of some people's upbringing. The way they brought them up everywhere is just frowning, very strict, and all of that. So they grew up with it like that. God will help us in Jesus' name. Okay, the next question is um, Can you smile even when you're in difficulty? Can you smile even when you're in difficulty? Praise God. Let me answer from yeah. that why people don't smile. Okay. Another reason is that in this life, some people don't smile because they don't want people to come and ask them of them. Ask them of them. Yeah. Because if you see me with a squeezed face, ah, it can't come to me. You know? So people just like having their face big like that. So they can't come and ask them of anything. That's the idea of me. Question is, um, can we smile when we're in difficulty, when we're having issues? Can we still smile? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, we can smile even in difficult situations. One of the benefits of smiling is that it has a way of releasing tension and then one can focus more on the positive side of things. So when we smile, we, we, even in difficult situations, the tension is a little bit reduced, and then we can start to think and focus of, for a way out, you know, focus on a way out, rather than seeing the problem and then getting depressed. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you. I try to say that word, in everything, give thanks to the Lord. In everything, have to work, smile. So that you will not have people. Because if you are what, if you are always small, what, always spreading your face, you what, you will cause people to come. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yes. Praise the Lord. So when you are what, when you smile in everything, you what, you will feel happy. You will forget about the what, situation. You will forget about the problem. Praise the Lord. That's why you have to what, smile in every situation, in every difficulty. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah, somebody can smile in the time of difficulties. Why? Smiling is a symbol of it is well. <laughs> so whenever you remember the promise of God, whenever you are passing through difficulties, you smile. Because it's the symbol of it is well. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Most times you smile, but the person you're smiling to don't smile back at you. What's that big door? Smiling face. We smile to too many people at the door open. They don't smile back. Sometimes I will close the door back until you smile before I open the door. <laughs> Please, members of KRP, smile. You people are wasting my smile. Because by the time I smile, when you don't smile back, you see my cheek, I'll just hang. But when you smile back, I'll be able to laugh. Please, smile. Amen. God will help us. Thank you, man. Yeah, so that one, <laughs> when are you smile back or not? Supposed to smile. Yeah, so, it is well. The next question, does a smile truly reflect the heart? Does it truly reflect the heart? Not always. There are times there's some dry smile. When people are not really happy, like someone that is grieving, and the person is smiling, that smile is not deep, it's not genuine. So it's not every situation that the smile connotes happiness. So that the dry smile, that could be a wet smile. If that's something like that, the real smile and the dry smile. Yeah, just like there are different types of smiles, you know, the fake one. Praise the Lord. And just like uh, my daddy said, uh, it's not always that some job that actually requires that one smiles. Somebody that is casting a news should smile. Smiling face should smile. Even when they are not happy inside, they are smiling. So, and then I want to reply to what um, our auntie said. At times, smile, smile attracts, laughter attracts, you know, it's, it's 
it has a way of spreading. When it's real and it's genuinely from the heart, there is no way it will not attract another person's smile or laughter. So it, 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 it can be real and it can be my not in, in some cases. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, some smiles does not come from the heart. Yeah. I'll use an example of growing up. You go out with your mom, or a visitor comes to the house and gives you something, and the person is saying, take. Your mom is saying, take it. Take it. And the time we know, we didn't have the sense. We will take it. By the time the, uh, the visitor goes, you are done, and you are done for. She will beat the living daylight out of your out of your body. Then when we go out, go out, and she says, somebody gives us something, they give us drink, they entertain everybody, and she's drinking us. And she says, we don't want to drink, and we say, drink now, drink, is it all of us that is coming, drink. And you are not wise, you still carry that drink and you drink. <laughs> you are done for. Then these days, we go out with our children, and you don't want them to take something. Thank God for the ones we have around us. You don't want them to take something. You are smiling, and it's not coming from your heart. Take now, take it. And the child is the one that is not wise. He said, okay, still have me smiling, take it. Mommy, should I take it? You take it and you eat it. When you get home, you meet me at home. Like, like the joke we just said, we just saw recently of a, a, a family that had a visitor that came and they gave them $1,000 one thousand dollars for the children, each, each. And the children refused and said, no, I don't want because my mommy will beat me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, um, next question. Is it right to smile at all times? Is it right? Whatever that is happening, just smiling. I don't think that is right. <laughs> that is one of my secondary schools. There's a boy called Laughing Jaka. That was the thing. He laughed every time. He became uh, somebody that's irritating. So because he's always laughing, he's never serious about anything. So people try to avoid him after some time. So because his own is becoming excessive, so he's not going to be laughing every time. It also connotes on seriousness. If somebody's always laughing, it means that person is not a serious person in life too. Okay, so laughing, smiling, they're the same thing. <laughs> Any other person? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You can be smiling every every time, especially ladies. It's very good for a lady to be smiling to you. Especially when you go to bank, they want to attend to you, they are smiling to you, you would like to go back to the place. For instance, I'm attending to a customer and they bring a lot of favor to me when I smile to them. It may be much require for me when they could get there and say, I want to see so 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 lady to attend to them. And it bring a joy for me. And they give me a lot of favor by giving me money after I tell them to them. It's very good for a lady to be smiling to you. God bless you. Praise Thank God. you, Mom. Praise God. Hallelujah. Smiling is very good. Laughing is very good. But laughing, there's a way you will laugh to look like a seal. You are normal. Sometimes, sometimes, but it's good. Sometimes you look as seal, but when you are smiling, you can smile anytime. Praise the Lord. That is one of the difference between smile and laughing. Praise the Lord. You can be smiling anytime. Just like the people that have shop. When you come out for your work, when you shop in the morning, you have to work, you have to feel happy and was smiling. You attract what customers, as our sister said. Praise the Lord. Smiling is so more good, but so far good than what laughing. Though laughing, smiling is what what, what brings laughing. But it's not always what laughing. Sometimes there is a situation that you want, you will cover up with God with smiling. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. Okay, um, God. Hallelujah. Um, it's good to smile, but not to always. Because you can't go for a continent visit and you're, you're smiling. It's not done. Because it will be as if you're happy or something that the person is late. Smiling is good for a lady Smiling is good for everybody because what you, it helps you, like Pastor says, it helps you, it helps you go, um, it, it doesn't age you that much. And it helps your special these things, muscles to flex and it relaxes you very well. 
Hallelujah. Our next question is, uh, can you trust people because they smile? Can you trust people? Anyone? Yes, Hello. Hallelujah. I will take it from the previous question, then I'll come to this. Smile is subjective. Um, you smile in pursuit of your own happiness. Sometimes you might be smiling to just let things go. Like someone is doing something stupid, you don't want to get worked out. You just smile, so you're happy. And every other person around is happy. So you can do that all the time. Um, it's different from laughing. I won't trust someone will laugh all the time. But I will also be very careful with someone who smiles all the time. Because when he's smiling, I don't know if he's happy or he's just trying to make me feel cool. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Praise God. Hallelujah. Sorry, I want to go back to the previous question. Is it good for somebody to be smiling always? No. Because why? There are things you will like to undo, but while smiling, you will not undo them properly. Take for instance, when the disciples were of Jesus, they were very happy and smiling at always. But when they came to arrest Jesus, the smile stopped. Because if they continue smiling, they will not handle those people very well. That was what led Peter to cut that man here. But because if Peter was smiling, he will not do that in that situation. <laughs> Make God smile at you, smile on you. What can make God smile on you? It's when you're in obedience to God. Anyone? Anybody? Okay. When you're obedient to Him. Praise God. Hallelujah. One of the things that can make God to smile, generally, you know, when it's different, God will smile. And at you or upon you. But one of the things that I've discovered that most of because we have defined smile as something that pleases or amazes you. And one thing that pleases God is faith. Yes. It is impossible to please God without faith. So when you think when you walk on your feet and you are growing your feet, you don't know whether you can see God or not. God is smiling at you. At you. Yeah. It, it lost it when, in, in fact, there were, there, were, there were times that Jesus Christ would just tell them, your faith has made you whole. The woman with the issue of blood, he was not planning to even do anything for her, but because of her faith, and he said, he did not even say that it was his power that had made her whole, but that your own faith has made you So, it is always that, how do we get faith? We, we get fit by hearing, hearing the word of God. Maybe that means that we can put ourselves in the atmosphere of increasing our faith by listening to the word of God, by reading the word of God, studying the word of God, meditating on the word of God. Don't know that when you do this thing, as you have come to God's presence now, God is smiling on you. Be 